हेलो एवरी वन टूडेज लेक्चर इज मेन्ट फॉर दोज गाइज विच आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आई सी एस सी क्लास टेंथ बायोलॉजी एंड दोज यू हैविंग द बोर्ड एग्जाम द फ्यू नेक्स्ट कमिंग मंथ सो आई एम डॉक्टर पुनीत रंजन आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो फॉर माई यंगर ब्रदर हु इज गोइंग टू अपियर फॉर दिस एग्जाम आई होप दिस विल हेल्प यू ऑल द पीपल हुएवर वॉच आर गोइंग टू वॉच दिस वीडियो सो if you if you are going through that icsc that uh, book you will find the topic as uh, that's the topic number the first one is location of the heart i have already exp- exp- uh, explained but still i'll i'll go again so the heart is located in the center of the uh, the chest or the thoracic cavity you can see this is the axis uh, the center line it's almost in the center only little you can see is towards the left side so basically it is divided in two parts the base of the heart which is the upper portion of the heart and then is the apex of the heart and this heart is situated between the second ribs and between the fifth rib they are totally uh, you can see we can see here there are 10 ribs which all are attached to the sternum sternum is here actually there are 12 ribs 12 ribs so the 11th and 12th ribs are here and these ribs are called as the floating ribs so now i'm coming to the next topic uh, yeah, you can also see the diagram in uh, broad manner you can see the heart here this side you can see the left remember always in human side left will be this side and the right will be this side it will be totally ulta or opposite so the le- the heart is situated between the left lung left lung and the right lung and then this is the apex of the heart this is the base of the heart base of the heart is broad and the apex is narrow and then uh, down part of the heart you can see the diaphragm diaphragm is the muscle which separates the thoracic cavity from the abdominal cavity the heart outer portion is called as the pericardium and you can see the trachea from trachea that's the respiratory system that's no need to explain here now we'll come to the structure of the heart the structure of the heart you may find it little tougher now but after going through the series of lectures you will find it very easy so just uh, basic that's the uh, bro- uh, broad part of the heart that's the apex or the narrow part of the heart the heart has four portions i can divide like this so this part will called as the right atrium because this is the right side this will be called as the right ventricle then this is the left atrium this is the left ventricle so the left side of the heart we will have two parts the atrium and the ventricle left atrium right ventricle right side we will have right atrium and right ventricle between the right atrium and right ventricle there will be a valve which controls the flow of blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium or you can say it stops the blood to go back from the right ventricle to the right atrium and this valve is called as tricuspid valve because it's called as because a compose of uh, three this thing cuspid three cusp that's why it's called tricuspid valve while on the left side there will be a mitral valve or it is also called as the bicuspid valve let me write it here what now so on the left side you will find bicuspid valve so remember the right side there is a tricuspid valve while the right uh, left side you will get the bicuspid valve bicuspid valve this valve also has the same function like it acts as it, it blocks the blood to go back from the left ventricle to the right atrium when the left ventricle is getting contract the blood will go from here to to the aorta not to the left, left atrium don't worry about aorta and vena cava now we will come in the next series we will come back to this topic slowly slowly so remember the heart has got four persons one is right atrium left atrium right ventricle left ventricle now uh, one more thing i will want to tell you that from the right ventricle you will see you can see that the pulmonary artery is coming out and this pulmonary artery you can see it is getting divided in two parts the left part will go to the left lung while the right right this right uh, bifurcation will go to the right lung and then same way in the left ventricle we can see that the aorta is coming out this aorta will supply b- blood to the, all the part of the body
now the next topic is the blood vessels entering and leaving the heart their apertures and what are the valves present so first i will discuss what are the blood vessels entering the heart normally remember one thing whenever a blood vessels enters the heart that will be called as a vein and if a blood vessels comes out to the heart or leaves the heart that will be called as artery or whatever artery or arteries as you say so first i will talk about the blood vessels entering the heart any blood vessels which has entering the heart will enter either in the right atrium or will enter either into the left atrium remember and if the blood vessels going out from the heart will it either it will come to right ventricle or either it will come to the left ventricle so first of all talk about the right atrium what happened in right, right atrium the blood vessels come from two big veins that is the superior vena cava superior vena cava means the blood vessels which is situated above the heart in a layman i can i can say like any uh, like blood vessels from the brain or a, uh, this thing brain neck they will come through the superior vena cava and come to the right atrium while in inferior vena cava it collects blood from the lower part of the body and then it brings it to the right atrium the same way in the left atrium the blood will come through the to the vein from the lungs so you can see there are two pulmonary vein these two veins are coming from the left lungs and these two veins are coming from the right lung remember one code uh, remember one code as la la is left atrium and remember in hindi lung se aata hai so to in left atrium the blood uh, the the uh, the vein which is coming is coming from the lung and then you can make all the diagram like it's coming from the uh, lungs then it will come since it's coming from the lung it means the blood is purified so the blood blood purified blood is come to the artery and then go to the ventricle then goes to the whole part of the body everywhere and then come back to the right atrium to the superior vena cava or through the inferior vena cava then come back then go to the ventricle and then the blood will be pushed through the pulmonary artery remember this blood is deoxygenated here because coming through it's coming because this blood is being used by all the tissues and this blood will go to the lungs both the lungs from here also it will go to the both uh, the, the right lungs from here it will go to the left lung and then again get oxygenated and come back to the left atrium so that is the basic process of this heart so i think you must have got the right atrium there are two major uh, veins which comes inside superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava and then the left atrium we will have the four pulmonary veins you can see two are coming from the left uh, heart and another two are coming from the right heart uh, sorry not heart two are coming from the left lung and the, right, uh, the these two are coming from the right lungs now the next topic is going to discuss about the same part the blood vessels leaving the heart so obviously now you know the what were the blood vessels which leaves the heart will will leave the heart through the ventricles so in the right ventricle the blood vessels which is leaving the heart is pulmonary trunk pulmonary the term itself talks tells that it's an it's, it's uh, connected to the uh, this thing lungs so you can see uh, from right ventricle the blood is going to the pulmonary trunk and from the left atrium it's going to the aorta left atrium you can see the bigger part that's the aorta and this aorta supplies blood to all part of the body then one more uh, ex, uh, this thing is the uh, the coronary artery what happens the coronary artery comes out from the aorta you can take this uh, as a coronary artery and the specialization of this coronary coronary artery is that it gives it supplies blood to the heart itself so if i ask you a question which but blood vessel supplies blood to the heart then you will see it's the coronary artery now i'll go to the next topic that is the circulation of blood throughout the heart 
I feel now it's very easy for you. Let me again explain. Vena cava. This vena cava is either superior vena cava or the inferior vena cava. Superior vena cava takes blood from the upper portion of the body. Inferior vena cava takes blood from the inferior portion or the lower portion of the body. So from the vena cava, the blood will come to the come to the right atrium.